Hi, this is Anna from Just Paint. Today I'm painting Tracy. Some of you might know her. She's been working at Just Paint for a long time. Um, she's gonna get a makeover similar to mine. We are gonna become St. Patrick's Day buddies. I'm using a petal sponge. This is a splash sponge. It's called Pointed Petal. And I'm loading it up with some Global Pearl Yellow, which is actually more of like a yellow gold. There you go, Tracy. I'm sorry I didn't warn you. Just went right through it. And then I'm using the shape of the sponge to kind of give me a guideline of where I want my gold to go, pretty much in this shape that the sponge makes. And I'm going to add some shamrocks to give it a little bit more of a St. Patrick's Day feel. So I'm just going to follow along with my um, corner of the pinkish red down here. I'm using Leanne's Rainbow. This is the regular Leanne's Rainbow from Global, not the neon one. All right, go up and down on each side over here to make cute little, whoop, I want my blue on the outside. Cute little petal, can you turn your head a little bit? There we go. In and out. So that's three petals, and then I'm just going to do a little bit of a wiggle and pull down over here. Can you turn your head? Since I did that uh, reverse flip, I'll just duplicate it and work with it. And then we'll go out, in, out, in, and then do a little wiggle and pull. So that's the base. Pretty. I'm just going to find a good spot to stick this shamrock right above her eyebrow and kind of going to the angle that the rainbow strokes are making. And then you can decide how much you want to add if you want to pick the dots up in the tap or the extra shamrocks. I'm going to pull it off and there she goes. Then I'm going to do this side. It looks perfect. I'm going to tap it over here in the same spot. Oh, I'm going to put a shamrock right on that rainbow. And then I have another little shamrock I can put right on her eyelid. I want to gently put it on there so it kind of fades out. All right, I'm going to leave, I think I'm going to leave that side the way it is. All righty, next we're going to put a shamrock in the center here. I'm going to freehand it. I'm using a filbert brush. This is our firm blender from Bolt Brushes. And I'm gonna pick up the lighter side of the Borneo Rainbow Cake and just get a light green. And now I'm gonna sneak this shamrock right in there. If you can see, it's got a little bit of a dark edge on the filbert. So I kind of got some shading and I'm doing two blobs for each petal. And I just need to put a stem down there. I'm going to outline it, I think, to make it really stand out. All right. I also am going to use that filbert to do some chunky teardrops. And I'm going to put those on her cheeks to try to pull the design in off her cheeks up into her eyes. So if you could turn your head this way, I'm going to do the longest one at the bottom. Push, pull. Then I'm going to do another one. Push, pull. And then another one. Push, pull and just drag those guys in there. The biggest one, push, pull. The next one, push, pull. The next one, push, pull. All right, and then I'm gonna put a couple swirls and outline that shamrock over there. So I'm gonna just underline these with the green, this really dark green. I'm gonna underline this one and his little buddy. Everybody, and then outline this shamrock, and then I think we're just going to put some bling on the shamrock to really make it stand out. Oh, and I think we're going to bling it even more with some pixie paint. If you don't have any pixie paint yet, you've got to try this stuff because you can have like a really simple design that doesn't look like much is going on and then you just throw some pixie paint on there and it's a party and you know, blend in some of these strokes. Put a little star here. 
I'm using the bolt number two liner in the firm. It's nice, uh, it's perfect for doing little stars and skinny twirls and swirls. All right. And I'm, oh, Mikey doesn't want me to overdo things while I'm here. I'm the detail queen of America. Okay, now for, oh, I still feel like she needs a little bit of a teardrop vein, 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 vein. And then we'll get some pixie paint. Just gonna load this. This is a new one. It's called Splash. It's aquatic and magical. I'm gonna put a little bit on the shamrock, and you can use your brush or your finger to adjust it. I'm gonna put a little there on her cheek, on her cheek, and you can just add a little tiny bit or a whole lot if you want to make a giant blob of glitter. But I'm more of a conservative girl when it comes to this. All right, and then this is one of our Just Jewels. It's the teal petal. Um, and I'm gonna stick that right in the middle of the shamrock for some added bling. And you could paint her lips green if you were really daring. Do you want green lips? Yes, this. she does. One of my favorite brushes for lips is the blooming brush. The Volt Blooming Brush, because it's just a good lip size. It goes right from the pointy, and then you just push down on the outside of the lip, or the thicker part of the lip, and you get a nice thin to thick stroke. All right, Tracy, I think you look. Happy St. Patrick's Day! Make sure to subscribe to our Just Paint channel and feel free to share this video with your friends. Have a great day and check us out at JustPaint.com.